Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another New York Giants video. Before we get into it, once again I'd just like to thank all my current subscribers, any supporters of mine whether it's on YouTube, Instagram or Twitter. I'd like to thank all of you guys for your continued support, your you know, your continued assistance and maintenance to me and my channel. I say it all the time, you guys are the reason I, I continue to make YouTube videos, you guys are the reason that I do this and I continue it for you all and once again just thank you to all of you on um, new subscribers, welcome, I hope you enjoy your time here, all subscribers, thank you. Uh, if you aren't already subscribed, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, uh, follow me on all platforms and let's get right into the video. Now then, it's been a while since I addressed the draft. I mean, it's like the last time I talked about it, I believe, was in my Isaiah Simmons video where I I had to make a video addressing basically my own thoughts on Isaiah Simmons, uh, my reasoning as to why I wouldn't want to draft him with the uh, fourth overall pick. And that, that video was almost a month ago. I think it was like three to four weeks ago. And at the time that I made it, the only reason I made it was because it was right after the national championship and everybody was sort of on an Isaiah Simmons high. And just like I said in there, I'm going to reiterate it here, I have nothing against Isaiah Simmons. I believe he's one of the top two defensive prospects in the entire uh, draft, and I believe he's a great fit for the Giants. In fact, he's a perfect fit for the Giants defensively. I just don't think that we we have to draft him. I just don't, I think that drafting him won't really fix any of our major problems. Right now, the two biggest holes on the team are on the offensive line and the defensive pass rush. So, drafting Simmons, while it is something that will help out our linebacking core which has been ignored admittedly it won't help out the team overall as say taking a stud pass rusher or a stud alignment and getting back to my point here the reason i made it was because everybody was on the high and i just wanted people to realize this information that i just stated and you know it had you know some good feedback some nice uh general feedback it was I want to say it was mixed, but generally yeah, there was a lot of people there that agreed with me. They agreed with taking the offensive lineman, which is what I want to do. They agreed that Simmons is indeed a perfect fit, but uh, while he's maybe not looked at as the you know the usual luxury pick for the Giants, he'd kind of be a luxury pick and all that. And the landscape since then has changed. Since then, I'm seeing a lot more people uh, you know willing to basically take an O-lineman or in general just willing to accept whoever it is that comes to the team. The landscape of the draft has changed. There's just today, there's been rumors saying that the Dolphins are looking to trade up, whether it's with the Redskins or with the Lions, maybe even with us, because they want Tua. And there's just a bunch of, bunch of rumors swirling around and the landscape of the draft as usual is ever shifting and changing daily. You know, on a side note, it's part of the reason that I do my mock draft so late for those of you uh, that have been here since the beginning, you guys will know, I didn't do my first mock draft for the draft last year until after the combine. Because, and I'm gonna do the same thing this year because I want to get it as close to the draft as possible um, because I want it to be as accurate as possible. And even then, I'm not gonna achieve that because like I said, ev you know, everything happens in a way that you don't expect it to. But I just wanna get, you know, a lot of information gathered before I go and try to predict who the Giants are taking because when with my mock drafts I don't do like the entire first round or something I do all seven rounds specifically for the Giants so let's say like last year I had like 10 picks I mocked every single pick and um it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and to, to be honest with you even if you want to have you know even a sliver of a good video you're gonna need a lot of information and the only way to get that amount of information is to wait to wait it out you know play the long game but but like I said, the draft landscape is ever changing and why not talk about that in this video, you know? So, there's a couple scenarios I have running around in my head as to what I want the Giants to do. Obviously my number 1-1, uh, one, one, that sounds weird, my number 1-1. One, one. Or I guess my favorite one as of right now is just straight up taking a stud offensive lineman at Fort. Uh, it's not a lot of people's favorite uh, scenarios to go about because a lot of people would like Simmons at, at this uh, position. They would like to trade down, which is another thing that I, that I um, am in support of also. But the reason um, I want to stay pat at four, and in my opinion, just take the best O-lineman there, who I still believe to be Andrew Thomas. And even then, there's like there's like about three dudes. It's Thomas, uh, Mikai Becton, 
and Jedrick Wills and I, I believe at least one of these three dudes who were all first round picks in my opinion at least one of them is going to pan out whoever we take at least one of them is going to pan out but for right now I would want Thomas just because he's the most short thing out of all of them he's he's the one with the the largest floor and in my opinion the highest ceiling out of all of these guys he's great in run blocking he's good in pass protection he's good at pushing guys back and being a mauler if he needs to he has good foot movement good footwork he's at he's at a good size like there's just i don't see anything wrong with thomas and you could read up on him if you want to that's not the point of this video because the video would take really long if i do go into detail but the reason i would prefer to stay pat and take him at four is I'm just scared of him being gone if we trade down, no matter how far we trade down. We could trade down uh, right down to five or to six, and he could be taken up by any team ahead of us. And, you know, it's it's not exactly plausible that it's going to happen, but I don't want to risk it simply because of the fact that we haven't had good luck with offensive linemen in general, whether it's in the draft or whether it's in free agency. This is no secret to Giants fans. We're just, we've just, like, always been bottom of the barrel in terms of luck when it came to offensive linemen. I mean, you could argue Will Hernandez, um, and Will Hernandez was a good pick, still is a good pick. He had a sort of a sophomore slump, but that's about like, you know, one out of the five positions on the entire line right there. I mean, we just haven't had a good luck, good luck with them, and I believe one of these three dudes are going to be a sure thing, and we should just stay there, stand pat, make our choice. We'll honestly, we'll have the pick of the litter for the best offensive tackles in the entire draft if we stay at four. That is my number one scenario. My number two scenario, you know, my second favorite one is indeed trading down. And there's a lot of trade partners to work with. Like I said, just today, rumors coming out that the Dolphins are looking to trade up with somebody, most likely the Redskins or the Lions. And the Dolphins are definitely one of the teams I'm willing to trade with. In fact, I'm willing to trade with the Dolphins, the Chargers, the Panthers, the Cardinals, Jaguars, and the Browns. As long as we're within the top 10, I'm fine with trading down. I don't want to trade down too far back. You know, even though there's teams like the Raiders, I think uh, they're picking all the way at 19. Like, even though they have multiple first round picks, if I'm not wrong, I don't want to trade too far back because, you know, you don't want to be left, you know, kind of where the Giants were a couple years ago. They always, they're looking to get somebody and then the team ahead of them takes it. But as long as we're within the top 10, I'm fine with trading down. Obviously, my favorites are the Dolphins and the Chargers. Dolphins, because they, they also have multiple first round picks but also because they're right there it's not going to be a far jump back same thing with the chargers and the thing about trading back in this draft and the reason why a lot of people love it so much the reason why it's a favorite for a lot of people this year specifically is because there's a good amount of quarterback needy teams within the top 10 and those teams are going to be looking to trade up at least that's the speculation right now and if we trade down we just we're still able to get whoever we want to get for example if we trade down with the dolphins uh it's just one spot back we're going to swap first round picks. Uh, we're probably going to get a second or maybe they're uh, towards the end first round in return. Whatever the case is, we're going to be just one stop back and we'll still be able to uh, get somebody of our choice. That's the most plausible thing that would happen. Uh, or trade back with Chargers. would probably still be able to get maybe one offensive lineman will be gone, but we'll still have two of the top three. We'll still have, at that point, I think Simmons, which is kind of crazy to think about that he might drop that far. But who knows, you know, it happens every year. There's one dude that drops farther than you expect them to. There's one dude that comes out of nowhere and skyrockets up the board. It's just the way to draft. But with the Chargers and the Dolphins, absolutely, I'd be willing to trade down to those dudes. You'll get a good return because of just the value of a quarterback in the NFL. You, you would honestly get a better return than you'd expect. I know all about the uh, GM point system and whatnot, and I do believe it's going to play a big role in that. But teams tend to overpay for quarterbacks whether it's in actual cash or in things like draft picks so i believe we're going to get a little bit more than uh the pick is actually worth if a team were to trade up to our spot in order to draft their future franchise quarterback and that's another reason i'm okay with trading down now then as for who i would take as we go back there if we go back to the dolphins i'm still all for andrew thomas or another offensive tackle same with the Chargers if he's still there. If you go back a little bit farther, like say to somebody like the Jaguars or something, uh, I believe at least two of those offensive linemen will be gone. Isaiah Simmons should be gone at that point. And what I'm really looking at is maybe somebody like a Tristan Wirfs. If we're lucky, Jedrick Wills would still be there. But uh, I'd still look for the best tackle available. In fact, I'll still look for the best offensive lineman available because we do need a center. 
along with a right tackle and a left tackle to be honest with you so i would still look for the best tackle available if we go down a little bit farther and then in the second round i would go for like somebody like a uh okwara it's julian okwara i believe in the draft this year or like a uh the gross mate gross dude i can't remember his name let me look it up and it's also pretty hard to pronounce yeah yutur gross matos from penn state he's both an offensive uh offensive he's both an outside linebacker and a defensive end which is something i really like and of course giants hired a defensive lineman uh defensive line head coach from penn state so it would be a great fit and in general i think that's what i want to do i would want to take a offensive tackle in the first round no matter what we do and then get somebody like a julian okwara or a gross matos in the second round because i believe they're good they're good pass rushers they're not going to be anybody like chase young who i'm about to touch on right after but they're still going to be really good i believe they're going to be better than a o'shane zimenez and a lorenzo carter and i expect these guys to improve in their careers but with uh, Julian Okwara and with Yutira Gross Matos, there's just something about them. You could tell on the field, they're just they're just good. You know, they both have really good motors. Uh, they both have different skill sets, you know, a little bit different skill sets. But I believe them coming in, um, I believe they're going to be better than our two uh, other outside linebackers. And there's a reason they're also being mocked in the second round, late first round, as opposed to uh, Lorenzo Carter, who was mocked uh, to like late second round. We got him in the third round. And O'Shane Zimenez who was also mocked like mid second round and we got him in the third round so you know there's there's a reason for that difference there but let me hop on chase young real quick with this Dolph, these dolphins rumors going around and if it does fall through if they do trade up to say with washington there's a chance chase young falls to us and at that point i would throw all the offensive line talk out the window and get chase young because he's quite simply the best player in the draft i think everybody knows that he is he is the hands down the number one prospect in this draft and hands down one of the best pass rushers to come out of the draft in a long time i mean you know i shouldn't say a long time because nick bosa last year was one of the best pass rushers to come out in a long time but there's just chase young has a lot of upside and he has a high ceiling also he could help revitalize the pass rush on the giants i mean i don't know what else to say other than he's the best player in the draft if he falls to us by some grace of God, I am taking him, Dave Gettleman, please, if you're listening, because I know you be taking the best player on the board. If Chase Young is there, he's the best player on the board, man. I don't want to hear anything else about it. Whether it's the fact that Miami trades up with Washington and, and you know, he falls to us because Detroit is so in love with Jeffrey Okuda, whether it's that Miami, Miami trades with uh, Detroit and for some reason uh, Redskins are like, you know what, we're going to let go of Trent Williams. We need somebody to replace him. And then it turns out that he still drops to us. No matter what, my plan and my, my dream is that we take an offensive lineman in the first round because we need to address that for the future. But if Chase Young is there, that's outside the window. I'm throwing it out. I'm throwing it out like Uncle Phil throws dudes out of his house, man. Take Chase Young. But um, that's what I got for y'all today. This video was kind of jumbled, but I mean, it is draft talk. I just sort of had to cover a lot of topics since I was kind of away from, you know, Giants talk in general. Y'all already know with the school, uh, you know, how busy I am. But I still try to get this video out to y'all and I still thank you guys. You know, I thank you, thank you every day for, you know, supporting me, for continuing to tune into my videos. Even though it's going to be a bit more, you know, like less frequent. Thank you guys for that. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. What is your dream scenario for the Giants? And if you want to do it like I did in this video, break down all the different scenarios. If we stay pat, if we trade down, if a certain player drops to us, let me know in the comments down below. I'm out. You're... Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...